You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a giant double bubble gumball. And these uh, really intrigued me. They were in our candy storage. Yeah, we have a little storage bin. Well, actually, more than a little storage bin. But there's lots of different kinds of candy we haven't got to yet. And this one was there, and I kept thinking, when am I going to make that video? When am I going to make that video? What should I do? Who wants to see a giant gumball? Well, how about we compare it to other double bubbles, gumballs, and kind of see what it's all about. Now, when I was uh, taking a look at these originally, let me get in a bowl. I don't know if anybody plays bocce ball out there, but the little ball called the Polina, I don't know how you pronounce it, that's how I pronounce it, reminded me of that. I don't know why. Size, it's a pretty big, healthy looking gumball, isn't it? So that is what they call a two-inch gumball. Let me set that here. Two-inch gumball, okay. So there's a two-inch gumball. Now, normally you're probably used to a one-inch gumball. That's a standard gumball. And then a lot of you have probably also seen the half-inch gumballs. Okay, so that's a half-inch gumball. And then the last one, you'll see in a lot of the smaller novelty toys, is this one here. It's just under a half an inch, it's about three-eighths. I'd have to check that. Well, actually, let me check that now. I found my digital micrometer. Yeah, we're going we're going all high-tech in this video, so let's zero this out. And this is in inches now. I could switch it, but at least we'll get an idea. So it's 0.48. So it's just under 0.5. Well, let's check them all right now. So this one should be close to 0.5, so it is 0.60. Now this is one inch, so it should be a one. That's just above one inches. And then this thing is a two inch giant gumball. Now, you know, they're gonna be shaped a little bit differently and lose their shape. This one's flat on a couple sides, so let's get that tucked in there. And that's just under two inches. I know you can't see the numbers too good. So there's all the different sizes. And then how about we cut them open and we'll take a look at each one. Why not? While we're here. And then I want to get some weights too. Well, let me do that first. Let me get the weights. So you know how many of these fit into that. Get my scale in here. This is going to be one of those oddball technical videos that make no sense really. Hmm. Alright, so what is a... Well, let's zero this glass bowl on here. Okay, so now we're zero. It fluctuates just a little, but here we go. So here's the weight of one gumball. So it's 1.9 ounces. So almost two full ounces. So let's bring in some of these here. So that's two ounces. Let me jot that down. Well, let me do this. Let me check out another one see if there's some difference. 2.4. That one's heavier. And then here's the purple one. 1.9. Two point oh. Let's use that one. That's a good number. So that's a two ounce gumball. So let's see what gets two ounces. With this, one more, one more. Okay. So that is two, four, six, seven one inch gumballs fit into one of these giant gumballs. Okay, seven of those. Let's try these. Let's just try this way. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Well, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. That's close. Twenty-five. So about twenty-five of those. Now those other little ones. Those super teeny ones, it's going to take a lot. But let's see what it takes to get the five, and then I'll let you do the math, or half an ounce. Let's see if we can get this to half an ounce. We'll see how many fit half an ounce. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fourteen for half an ounce. So you do the math on that one. So you kind of, here, let me jot that one down. So 14 for one half ounce, okay. Got all the numbers down. So now we know. 
So let's just cut these open now. That gives you an idea of what this packs in your mouth. If you want to attempt to try to chew that, you know, grab those and do it if you want. All right, so let's cut from the smallest one. Whoa, get back here, buddy. You may not do that again. And we'll see. I might have, might struggle with these small ones to get into them. Okay. Well, I can't wait to cut the big one. Here, we'll cut all orange ones. How's that? one's next. Put them out of order over there. Yeah, maybe you can see me struggle this way better. Take some hand strength to do it. Okay, there's another one. Now we're going to the bigger ones. Here we go. Ah, look at that. I've been so wanting to eat a gumball. Okay. Well, that's good. There's a flat side. Let's just see if I could even get through this. This thing isn't, it's not cutting my hand, so don't worry. It's sharp, but it's not sharp enough to cut my hand. Well, it will. If you, but let's do this now. Let's saw. That's why I like this tool. Because it's got the serrated edge. It's a very thin blade too. You see it flexing? I'm sure you're all curious to get into this. I am. Now with my digital micrometer, I could actually measure the thickness of the walls. I know, that's crazy. I was just having fun. I found that cleaning up some stuff, going through, getting inventory organized, and thought, oh man, I haven't used that in a long time. All right, here we go. Wow. That's beautiful. So let me show you inside each one. Do they look the same to you? Color and everything? Pretty close, huh? Flavor should be pretty close too because it's the same maker. All right, hmm, what should I try? I've had all of these. I've never taken a big gumball like this. So let me put out my chewing, slurping, lip smacking warning now. So if you really hate that, it just drives you crazy. I'm sorry, I just, that's just part of it. So here I go. I'm going to take half of this now and attempt to chew it. Here we go. I'm bit off a piece. That feels like one or two of those already. It's good. Very sweet. Okay, the whole thing is in. It's huge. Wow, it's almost hard to talk. I can't imagine fitting this in. It's like a golf ball in my cheek. Super tasty, though. So that's what happens. You kind of walk through inventory, you see something, and all of a sudden you're measuring and taking weights and hold on, I'm curious about it. I'm sure someone out there is curious about it. So now you know. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick break, get rid of this, and I'll be right back. All right, I just needed to kind of rinse my mouth out because uh, that is one huge piece of gum to put in your mouth. But I say it's worth it, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. So if you ever get a chance, I say grab one. And there you go. That is the Double Bubble 
bubblegum comparison from the smallest to the largest that we have in our collection of bubblegum. So if you're a fan of this kind of stuff, look at that description. We'll have a link to a playlist. There's always you can search Lucky Penny Shop. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.